By the end of this video you will know which configuration of RAM is the best and the most performant for your laptop. So stay tuned! What's up everyone, my name is Andrey and today we're talking about difference between memory setups and memory sizes per channel in your laptop. We will be testing three different configurations for your memory to make sure we cover it all. 8 gig single channel, 16 gigs dual channel, so 8 plus 8, and 40 gigabytes of RAM dual channel, so 8 plus 32. So let's go! For today's test we have Asus Zephyrus G14 with 8GB RAM running on 3200 MHz already sorted to our motherboard, so we cannot change that, but we have one more additional sodium slot that we can use it to extend our memory size. And as for additional RAM sticks, we have 8GB from Micron and 32GB stick from Patriot. Both of them are running on 3200 MHz and has the same timing of CL22. All the links to the items will be in the description section down below. And meanwhile, we are going to the tests. So in Passmark software, overall Win takes 16GB dual channel mode. On another hand, look at the tiny difference between 16 and 40 gigs. It might be a really nice trade-off. Going next to user benchmark. In multi-core performance, 16 gigabytes also shows outstanding results and beats 40 gigabytes and 8 gigabytes in read, write, mixed and average. However, the difference between 16 gigabytes and 40 gigabytes setup is not that big. In single core performance, 16 GB shows the same results in terms of winning, but not the same in terms of the score. 40 GB is tying up with the 16 GB with all the tests, and 8 GB is way down below. All the games that are tested set with highest possible graphic settings. Now into the games, and the first game is Forza Horizon 4. And the same as in synthetic tests, 16GB shows outstanding performance in games as well, with 75 FPS on average, when 40GB showed 69 and 8GB showed 67 FPS on average. So in the shadow of Tomb Raider, things start becoming more interesting. 8GB showing better performance just because on Ultra it had a crash because out of memory exception which means I needed to lower the settings to actually run the game and run the test. So please disregard the test from 8GB, because on 8GB maxed out settings the game was crashing. And again, 16GB shows outstanding performance with averaging 59 FPS, when 40GB shows only 49. And in the end, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. 16GB showed great results with 168 FPS, when 40GB setup showed only 124 FPS, which is 44 FPS on average difference between those two. And 8GB version showed only 90 FPS on average in Counter Strike Go. So the conclusions are, using the same size of memory per channel will give you the best possible performance and experience in gaming and software usage. However, if you are planning to work with video or photo editing or CAD programs, it is essential to have enough memory, otherwise you will felt into the out of memory exception that will block your work. For myself, I decided to go for it and lose some of the performance, but I will have huge benefit of having 40 gigs of RAM on board whenever I need it. And finally, I will show you side-to-side -side footage from games and programs so you see the difference yourself. Now sit back, relax and enjoy the benchmark. And of course, don't forget to push the like button for this video. Let's go!
Well, that was it for today. If you're watching this part right now, it means you're awesome and I admire you and your patience and integrity to watch this video until very end. I thank you very much for watching this. I thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel and we'll see each other in upcoming videos. If you are not going to subscribe, you will not see it anyways. So please subscribe to this channel. I know I, I said this several times, but that's the only way you are going to do this. I'll wait. And now I'm done. Thanks a lot and see you around. Bye.